Boys, how are we? Yeah. You excited for tonight, lads? Yeah. Everyone's a bit more chilled out tonight, yeah. which is good. Yeah. So, second cocktail party, we are all feeling a lot more relaxed. We're all pretty excited the first time. I think it was a bit oh, yeah. We wanted time with her and we didn't want to get kicked off. A tone of calm across us all. But thanks to Patty, that was somewhat overlooked and forgotten about. Charlie. The one-on-one -on -one date with Ali, my friend. Here we the go. big dog, Charlie. Here we, here we go. All the hard Ali, questions friend. come straight from Paddy's mouth. They all come out and just say it. How are you feeling, bro? Like I'm buzzing. She's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I obviously want to have a good chat with Ali and continue what we shared in the in the single date. So I'm obviously excited now and I'm learning what more. You're kidding me, mate. Charlie's already had time with Ali, just been on a date with her. Everyone wants time with Ali. I, myself, would love the time with Ali. <laughs> he just needs to calm down a bit. Absolute nutter. At the same time, you know, I've got to be noble, I've got to be a gentleman, and I've got to, you know, obviously let everyone else have a chance of doing that as well. Mm. Yeah. Charlie said, uh, I'm going to be respectful to the lads. I'm going to let them go first. Whether that lasts, we don't know. And he said, he's not going to cut the boys off. He's going to be respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really go against your work, can no. you, mate? Well, well, I think you'll see people's true colours tonight. Hello, guys. Anyway, anyone's jaw just dropped. How are you? Wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ali looks absolutely stunning. She just really draws me in, and it's the first time I guess I've actually felt quite nervous around a girl. Hi, looking very smart. Hey, uh, how are you? Hey. I'm trying to keep myself a bit calm and just chill and just ease into this. Hey, what's I don't want to go out guns blazing like I did last time. I have to show respect towards her and respect towards you know, the other guys in here so that I can keep a good relationship with them. I've got to live with these guys in this house, so. I've got to play this smart. How are you, Jules? Good. Thank you. Oh, I love the mustache. Thank you. Ali greets me by my first name, like Ali knows my name. Warms my heart. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I don't know if I'll ever get used to being surrounded by so many gorgeous men, but I haven't been able to get Robin out of my head since the photo shoot. And there is something that I've been thinking about doing all day. Let's go. Oh, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> How are we feeling? Good, thank you. <laughs> Can I just do something you that I really wanted to do? Yeah. Oh, it was so nice. So nice. He's an extremely good kisser. Very, very sensual. And nice. <laughs> Robert is ticking all the boxes right now. I just, I really wanted to do that today. Yeah, you do? <laughs> it just felt so real with Ali. There was so much electricity, so much energy. It just felt right. It's been a little while since I've, you know, kind of felt that alive inside and felt that electricity. I'm so happy I'm here. It really reassured me that I'm doing the right thing. You can do that anytime you like. <laughs> I'm here and that Ali wants me to be here. So for me, it's good. I know that I'm on the right track. Come on, <laughs> okay. let's join the party. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, Robert is drop dead gorgeous. And you can't blame me for getting close and personal with him. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Confidence in rows acquisition. Well, you already have one, my man. I do. That's do. pretty cool. Yeah. Charlie's got no That's pressure on him. No, no, I do. I, no I do have pressure. I've got more than you think. Hey, it's not that simple. Like what pressure? Yeah. To, you know, you've got to, to keep the line of communication open. It's extremely hard holding back from you know going up and seeing Ali. You know, I've just been thinking all day that, you know, I just want to just continue what we shared at the, at the single day together and flow on and see how she's feeling from that. I'm sure she wants to speak to me at the same time. I don't want to be that guy that comes on too strong. So, you know, I need to let this night play out and just find that right moment, that right timing where we can get some good quality time to go. Oh, I'm very keen to get some more time with Ali. I'm more like settled in and just having a fantastic time. It's a real good vibe tonight. Let's go. You look so handsome tonight. Oh, thank you. 
I'm just treating everyone as an enemy right now. At the end of the day, everyone wants Ali. And I want Ali more than probably all of them right now. I have met more than one girl in my life, to be honest. So yeah. I just wanted to let you know that. Game on. I want to be with Ali. I've got to think of me and I've got to think of her. And they're the two people that matter to me in the house right now. And everyone else will good on me. Like, good luck. <laughs> So Charlie's promised the boys that he's going to be respectable and uh, not cut lads off. Uh, will that last 10 minutes? Oh, you <laughs> Shit's going to hit a fan, man. Hi. <laughs> My man. <laughs> May I? Have some of your gin and tonic. I will. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Charlie, the little shit, is just Carl Shane. I think that's a dog move. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good now. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Charlie can say one thing and then cut the lad off. I think it's very, very disrespectful, and he's just basically looking out for himself. That was magic. It was. It was the best dad I've ever had. I'll <laughs> say that right now. Charlie's got a f***ing rose, mate. He's got a rose. Why do you need to swoop in and cut someone's lunch? You don't. Have some respect, mate. I think Charlie's shitting bricks. I think he can't handle the fact that other boys want to get to know Ali. He's not giving them the opportunity. He's obviously fallen in love after three minutes. You know what? It's disrespectful because the fact that he said over there, I'll give the boys respect, I'll let them go first. Mate, if you're going to say something, stick to it because you look like an absolute twat. No, that, man. <laughs>